What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by today. You can see I'm in the Cummins today, and you'll just have to take my word for it because you can't see it on camera. But there is a trailer behind me I'm here with no co-pilots at all, so this is going to be fun. Um, it's going to be a long, hot day, and I'm hoping everything goes smooth, but we're going to grab another project for the channel. It's something that I've been looking at for a long time. I've had the option to buy for a couple of years, but I never really, um, I guess I never really had the chance, because I never, like, every time I've had the money, I've, I've done something else with it, and I'm just tired of dancing around this thing, because I did some research. And I realized how rare this thing is. So I'm going to do the, the whole road trip thing. You know, it's about, it's about an hour away. So I'm going to stop, get a couple of snacks because it's going to be a long day. So I'm going to get, you know, like a bag of jerky and something to munch on for lunch. Get a bunch of drinks. I got a, I got a case of water back there, but sometimes I like flavor. I'm a, I'm a big water drinker. Sometimes you like a little flavor, so I'm going to stop and get some drinks, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back when I get to where the uh, project is. And there's there's also some super cool stuff here, and the rest of it I don't think is for sale, but we'll walk around out there and I'll show you some of the stuff that's there, and then well, I'll try to do some filming while I'm attempting to get this thing out. Like I said, this is going to be a shit show, but it's going to be worth it. So stay tuned. Uh, this should be a pretty decent video. I'll see you guys soon. I'm in the middle of nowhere. And here she is, boys and girls. My... We're going to air the tires up for now, but this here, 1966 Cadillac Fleetwood 75 limousine. And it's about as long as a Monday. I have to do quite a bit of landscaping to get it out of here. Well, to get to the doors, I mean, anyway. <sighs> Man, it's already been a long, hot day. And I'm just getting started. I gotta move my compressor to the other side, and we'll come back. Sorry about the noise for the compressor, guys. Uh, anyway, here's a. Uh, some good shots of the interior, dirty as hell. Uh, this is the only damage to the interior. The rest of it's actually in really good shape. Headliner still intact. Don't worry about that. Let's go to the other side. We'll get some. We'll get this door right here open. So, look at this shit. Between the front seat. And the back seat. Yeah, there's four feet there. You put a whole sheet of plywood in this unit. The rear has its own completely separate climate control from the front because it's a limo. Um, armrest in the in the back seat. Power windows all the way around, and the controls for the windows are on the back window instead of on the back door. I thought was pretty cool. Ashtrays in the seats. Every door has its own ashtray and cigarette lighter. Oh, you ready to see the coolest part of the whole thing? So, these are footrests for the back seat, so your feet aren't just sitting flat on the floor. <coughs> you fold over like this. Hold on. There it is. So that's the back seat, that's the jump seat, that's the front seat. 
It's a nine seater because they're on both sides, these jump seats. Let's uh, damn carpet out of the way. This thing's been a storage shed for the past, I don't know, 30 years or so. And you can tell. So these little vents here are actually the intake for the rear climate control. And right up underneath the deck lid in here, inside the trunk, is like the blower motor and the uh, AC coil and all that stuff is all inside the trunk. It's all sealed off with a wall in the back and shit. <sighs> this is going to be a nightmare getting this thing out of here because I'm by myself. <laughs> There's... There's no houses, there's no neighbors, just me. Now, here's the money shot. This is the 429. It's only like 340 horsepower, but it's almost 500 foot pounds of torque when it was new. Clearly not new, but it's not locked up. Just I grabbed a hold of the fan when I come and looked at it. And this spins over no problem. So it will run. Because it's not as long as it ain't locked up, I can make it run. Yeah. Still waiting for tires to air up. Anyway, I have this area right there where my truck is. And I think I'm gonna just hook a strap to the ass end of this car up underneath on one of the cross members. Try to get it up on the road and up there somewhere, like off the road, so I can get it pulled up on my trailer. But like I said, I'm out here by myself, and uh, this is going to be an absolute disaster. I get a bad feeling, something like something stupid. Like I'm going to have a brake that's locked up or something along those lines, and it's really going to put a damper on the day. Hope I'm wrong. Hope everything just goes off without a hitch. But uh, my track record with retrieving cars out of fields, something always goes south. So I hope I'm wrong here. Look at this goddamn thing. He's cool as shit. Taking here. Anyway, shoot is pretty, pretty rad actually. As the story goes, this used to be, this used to be like a junkyard. Like all the fields around me were full of cars at one time, and uh, a tow truck. What the old man used to move them around with. Super cool. Now, all the way for that thing to air up. I'm gonna take a little walk. Whew. At least it's a nice road base road. You know, it's like a seems like a maintained road. So it's not bad. Oh. <sighs> There's very little left of what was once one of the coolest places around here. There's a really cool old Studebaker truck right there. I was hoping to be able to drag that car up the road and kind of turn it in right here, but I'm not sure how good of an idea that is because this, this is all downhill. and I don't want it to get away from me and slam into the back of my truck. Just for the simple fact that, you know, parts for the truck are easy to find. But a rear bumper and tail lights and shit for a 66 Cadillac are not easy to come across. So, I had to rethink my strategy a little bit. I had somebody I could have brought with me because these things are so much easier to do when you're not alone. That's just not the case for me. 
I don't have any local shitbox friends, so I got to do all this shit alone. But I don't mind it. It makes me better at doing it, you know. This is the crown jewel. Check. Yeah, boy. The Pontiac Catalina. I'm assuming was some type of like an airport shuttle, but I don't know. I mean, it's it's a 12 passenger station wagon. Some shit bag broke the window, but shit, this thing was titled and licensed in the 2000s. It's pretty rad. No, this is not for sale. They won't even entertain the conversation. Trust me, I already tried. But just look at it. On the other side of that old broke down trailer right there, the super goofy uh, old drag car from like the 60s and 70s. And it is. It's pretty rad. Now I can't can't give you guys the location of any of this shit because the property owners don't want people to know where it is. But look at this thing. It's like a, like a Model T from the Munsters. <laughs> it slope up on that ass end there. I'll bet this thing was a wheelie machine in its day. Small block Chevy, headers. You know, same shit, but I bet this thing only weighs a couple hundred pounds. So even a stock small block Chevy would just be an absolute riot in this unit. I bet you could go U-joint straight from the transmission to the axle on this thing. Been sitting in the same spot for well over 30 years. Kind of tragic. It looks to me like when they got rid of all the cars, they did keep a little bit of cool shit. Son of a bitch. Um, had catastrophic failure. Uh, my come along handle just left the chat, basically. And now I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I started this mission at eight o'clock this morning. It's now 6.30 in the afternoon, but we got it. It is uh, pretty crooked on the you're not supposed to see both doors when you look in your rear view mirror, but it's got three flat tires on it. 
it had one locked up brake. <laughs> I got the two tires on the passenger side to take air when I first got there this morning. And when I started pulling it out of hibernation, the back tire blew the bead and then with me just dragging it up the street, I ripped the sidewall out of it. So I have one tire that has air in it. The other three are flat. So it's uh, it's been an eventful day to say the least, but I got it. Uh, she's coming home to daddy, but first I got to go to the car wash and spray off 30, well, I don't know, 35, 37 years, something like that, cobwebs. Got some yellow top easy off, soaking the motor. Carburetor, so I don't get water down in there. Okay, guys, uh, car wash is done. That was a lot of dirt. Um, I'm not going to be able to offload it tonight, it's already too late. <clears throat> Plus, I got to put tires on it before I can get it off the trailer. But you know, we'll, we'll get there. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the car wash. Sorry I didn't get more loading footage, but it was an absolute shit show. Like, I showed up this morning, <clears throat> like I said, rolled the beat off that tire, and then pulled it over where I could safely load it, and I wasn't blocking a public road. Then started back or I backed the trailer up to it got it ready started coming along and up on the trailer and the handle to my come along left the chat so I was ill prepared for that to happen that come along has been a trooper for a lot of years like I got it from my grandpa so it's had a good life I'll find it I'll find a new handle for it no big deal and I had to drive the hour back home get my old winch that I pulled off my Toyota, which is the the mile marker 8,000 pound. I had to build a, a quick little cradle to bolt it in <clears throat> and run a chain through it so I could attach it to the trailer. Loaded up some more tools, like a jack, because uh, for some stupid reason I thought I had a jack in here, but I don't. So I had to grab a jack. Um, I grabbed my impact wrench, shit like that, because I had that locked up brake. So when I get back out there, I got the car jacked up, went to start airing the tire up on the back. The one that was locked up was the passenger rear. So I jacked it up, went to start uh, putting air in the tire, and I realized that there's a hole about the size of the end of that microphone in the, in the sidewall. So that was fun. Then I had to beat the brakes apart because the one was rusted together, which I had a bad feeling it was going to be. So I had to completely... Well, I didn't mangle the drum too bad. I beat the brakes off of it. I beat all the dirt and shit off of it. And then I just took everything out of the inside, all the brake shoes and the springs and all that shit, took all that stuff out, threw it inside the car, put the wheel back on so it would roll. Started pulling it up on the trailer, and I kept getting hung up on shit underneath the car because it's so low with flat tires. Even with my extended ramps, I couldn't get it up on my trailer. I had to keep laying underneath the back of my trailer and using a pry bar to push up whatever was hanging up on it so it took me over an hour with a winch to get that car up on my trailer and now it's sideways because I can't turn the damn wheel so it's like my front wheel is touching the rail on the driver's side and the rear wheel on the passenger side is touching the rail it's totally sideways I feel like Paul Wall. So I'm going to have to jack it up, put tires on it, before I can even get it off my damn trailer. So this is going to be fun. But I'm going to sign off here. Um, it's been a long, shitty day. <clears throat> I'm going to go home and eat and have a well-deserved shower. And uh, I'll deal with this problem in a couple of days. I'll get it off my trailer and all that shit. So 
stick around this build should be fun it's got some rust in it i want to get it running well i want to see if i can get that 429 to run because like i said it spins over nice so i'm gonna have to run a compression check and all that shit but i can't find the keys they can't find the keys i'm gonna have to spend a full day just vacuuming the inside of that thing out it's disgusting in there so anyway uh thanks for watching guys it's been a long shitty day sorry i didn't get a better video for you but there's a new project coming to the channel so again thanks for your time appreciate you popping in remember your dreams aren't going to work unless you're willing to